Let's actually watch the pretty cutscene, shall we? Close your eyes. Hear the bell speak. I know you're supposed to be old and wise and full of knowledge and shit, but bells don't speak, idiot. They're inanimate. I don't even think that works in Japan. I'm pretty sure bells don't talk. Unless it's like an animated movie like Raya and the Last Dragon or something, then maybe bells talk, I don't know. I'm not an expert. The bells chime will stir your thoughts. Wait, didn't he just fucking tell me not to fiddle with this thing and now he's giving me weird cryptic advice? From what the fuck? Slumber. Pick one, bro. Pick a lane, dude. What the hell? Don't mess with that statue over there, you know, the one that's glowing gold. The one that looks like it's interactable. Don't don't mess with that. Okay. I guess I'll just turn around and completely ignore it then. Three years ago. Is there anything behind me? Yeah. From soft. They always do that shit. Sneaky bastards. It's like the God of War devs where they always like tuck a box into the camera. Like just around the corner, you know? That you can't see. Old God of Wars anyway. New God of Wars are kind of just like whatever. Here's a box. Well, I say new God of Wars. I mean like the newest God of War. Uh-oh. Okay. I thought I was actually going to break my legs there for a minute. I was a little concerned. Is there anything back here, or is this just bullshit? Just bullshit? Yeah, it looks like it's just bullshit. Could have put another mini-boss back here, you know? Instead of, like, 5,000, like, instances of asset reuse. Fistful of ash, yeah, we already know what that is. Pocket sand. What's up, bro? You're the son of... Ow. I could be three years old. Maybe I'm not born yet. I don't know. How does he know who I am? Who the fuck are you, dude? What year is it? What year? An odd question. Tell me. It's the year of the Dragon Spring Pilgrimage. Couldn't you just say like Dragon Spring Pilgrimage? 1788 or some shit? That was three years ago. What is this? This ash is good against monk. I don't know. I never cheese monk with items, so I don't know. I don't remember any of this. I just beat Monk's ass. Appears, this is the like I said, the whole way I played through this game the first time is I just basically R1'd and L1'd everything to death. I didn't use Divine Confettis, I didn't use Pocket Sand, I didn't use Snap Seeds, I didn't use any of that shit. I just mashed R1 and L1 until shit died, and either I did good enough or I got my ass beat and I had to try again. Especially with that fucking uh, dickhead in the dojo. Blue bathrobe motherfucker, I forgot what his name is, but that dude was a fucking cunt on my first playthrough. Dude, beat the shit out of me. Really bad. Can I? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. What's beats? Medicine for treating burns. Heals the burn status abnormality and for a time decreases burn buildup, increases burn resistance, and reduces damage from incoming burn attacks. When fire is used on the battlefield, dousing powder is crucial for survival. Okay. Hello? Oh yeah, that's right, you gotta equip the things. Yeah, so like in this playthrough I actually want to use the prosthetic more. Okay. Alright, let's go, bitch. I don't have Makira yet. I don't have Makira yet. Consider yourself lucky. Spirit emblems are required to activate prosthetic tools and are consumed each time these abilities are used. Spirit emblems can be obtained from defeated enemies in the world and purchased from sculptor's idols. If you pass near them, they will find their way to you. Okay. So what you're saying is I'm a bitch magnet. That's right, okay. That was fair. Where were my iframes, motherfucker? Where was that? Ass? I don't get no special iframe treatment. That's some fucking bullshit. Fuck you. Oh shit, that's an insta kill? Oh, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. Alright. I had no idea the shurikens insta killed the dogs. That's cool. Normally you just have to smack the fuck out of them until they die and you get gang banged by wolves, which I guarantee you is not as fun as it sounds. Oh, I left a ton of goodies on this. Oh, there's shit down there in the water too. Bet. Look at that gold thing over there, I see that. This is what I was talking about, FromSoft being sneaky and putting shit out of the way. 
It's exactly what I was talking about. And they're gonna lie to you and say, oh, it encourages world exploration. That's bullshit. They just like being trolly. Sparkling scale from a treasure carp. To the average person, it's just a beautiful scale. But there are some who exalt a certain master who consider these scales among the most precious things in the world. For this reason, collecting them could be worthwhile. Sounds like, um, what's his a dickhead from Naruto? Forgot what his name is. Shino. Abarame. Where he's, like, explaining something, and he's like, the reason is. It's like, we know what the reason is, dickhead. Context matters. It's for late-game prosthetics? Yeah, I know what the treasure carp skills are for. Like I said, I've played this before. Like, I'm not new to this game. I just haven't played it in fucking forever. Because I hated the shit out of it. And I'm probably still going to hate it for the same reasons that I hated it before, but I haven't played it in a while, so I figured, fuck it, why not? Oh, I don't have a fucking... I was going to say, I could shuriken sure the dog and then just hop down there and off this bro, but... Hit. Nice. Come on, boy. Dumbass. Get dicked. Plain oil. When the jar breaks, the oil covers everything nearby. Enemies doused in oil are easily set alight, causing them to take additional vitality damage from fire attacks and making them more vulnerable to the burn status abnormality. Did the game basically just say that when you cover shit in oil, it gets lit on fire, like, and fire is more effective? Amoeba balloon filled with fountainhead water, imbued with the blessing of fortune. If one pops the vibrant green amoeba balloon and prays, those its water splashes upon will have a higher chance of obtaining items. Amoeba means aquatic life, or life born of the water. The Ashina consider the fountainhead water itself to be worthy of worship. Okay. Fucking weirdos. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, because this fucking pot NPC dude is over here, isn't he? The Sekiro iteration of the Elden Ring pot guy. Lake coin purse, you all. Can I, like, kill the fish by... No, I cannot. Okay. It was worth a try. Any items? No? Okay. I'm gonna hate getting through this village, I swear to god, because I remember there being a whole bunch of BBCs in here. Not the fun kind. Yeah, one prosthetic that shoots fire in this oil doing good damage? Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 the, the flame thing. I know what you're talking about. I don't remember what it's called, but I remember, like, a nozzle or something that sprayed fire. I just never used it. Like I said, I, I didn't use any of the prosthetics in this game. Actually, that's a lie. I think I used the axe a couple times, but I didn't really use anything else. Okay, there's three bros down there. Is there a fourth bro, or is there just three? Can't pocket sand, dude. Did you see him pocket sand the shit out of me? Fucking dick. Sub, bro. Nice, very stealthy. Right in the armpit. Get it, chief. Or bro behind me? No. Okay. Hello? Excuse me? I swear to god, I saw the notification for somebody getting pissed off, but I don't know where. Uh. More pellets? Cool. Could always use more of those. Seeing as how I'm gonna fucking need them. Don't either. Haven't played, like, for half a year or a year. Yeah. Same here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, asshole. Oh, you f- mm. I did not react quick enough to that arrow. That was entirely my fault. I saw it coming, but I saw it coming in, like, slow motion, so I didn't do anything about it. I just kind of sat there, and I was like, oh, there's an arrow coming at me very fast. I could put up my sword to deflect it. Or I could stand here and just tank it to the face like a Chad. Should've gone with A. 
Hello? Serpentine? Serpentine? Seems to be working pretty well, actually. Oh, but now there's two. Shit. Oh, motherfucker, dude. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, man. I knew it was coming, I just didn't know when, and I didn't know, like, how fast. Nice shot. Yep. You shoot fast. But now you shoot slow. He shot way faster than that before. That's weird. Okay, their AI is not what I thought it would be. Because that dude was shooting at a faster interval before, and that guy just took a sweet fucking time, so I don't know. I don't like you having any stamina or key here. I'm totally cool with it. The posture is basically your stamina. It, it makes sense that they didn't include a stamina meter for this game. Sugar candy made in Senpo Temple. Sustaining Ungo's blessing temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Bite the candy and take the Ungo stance to impart its inhuman benediction. By doing so, you endure the excess karma of man from the spirits within. Senpo monks spread this candy across Ashina in honor of her military heroes. Okay. Do you think that everybody names a sacred ancient land a female name because they don't want to be seen as gay? Because I feel like that's what it is. So every time somebody has a beloved land, like Russia, for example. Like, a Russian lady, if you picture a Russian lady, is a lot more attractive than a Russian man. Unless you're ex-deck. If you're ex-deck, then you're fine. If you're ex-deck, you get a free pass. Well, actually, I think it's just deck now. I think he identifies himself as deck now, so... If you're him, you're golden. You're Gucci, you're fine. Okay. Hello? How do I get around the door? Do I just... Am I dumb? Bruh. Oh, okay. Alright. Of course I'm not dumb. It's a FromSoft game. Of course it's gonna be complicated. Wait, do I, do I hop around the wall this way or do I go this way? I don't remember. I actually don't remember. Oh, it's definitely not fucking this way. Alright. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Okay, I gotta be careful in here, because I think there's like 800 bros, I'm not gonna lie. And by careful, I mean, you know, not leaping everywhere like an autist. Alright, there's a bro on the roof, but if I stab him, they're all gonna become aware. Because I remember there's a lot of dudes in this part. There's no way that bro right there doesn't see me, he's probably drunk as shit. Oh, he saw me. Lol, bye! No. Ass. Big Cox. Monka S. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. We're fine. Their mileage. Alright. Alright, we're fine. Of course we are. There's never any real danger. Okay, I'm gonna rest at the statue again real fast, and I'm gonna go piss again real quick. Sorry about that. I had, like, a lot of alcohol earlier, so... Maybe later on, if we're lucky, we can get an apparatus for the prosthetic that allows us to just piss in our arm and then we can, like, shoot it like a spider web in people's face or something like that. Use it to our advantage tactically with combat and shit. Yeah, let's go ahead and rest. And preferably not get shot in the face by flaming arrows this time. Can you come here, bro? Thanks, chief. Come on, buddy. You got this. I'm just one man. He does not got this. Hot. 
Okay, what the fuck? It actually did not read my input there. It's still not reading my input, dude. What the fuck? Like, I swear to god, I pressed L1 like four times there and it just did not read any of the input whatsoever. I just got stabbed like three fucking times for no reason. The fuck ever, dude. The game is so ridiculous. Shinobi Hunters of Misen Temple, sustaining Gokan's blessing, reduces posture damage taken for a time. Bite the candy and take the Gokan stance to impart its inhuman benediction. Misen monks are well versed in the art of killing Shinobi and undertaking that demands a body with an unshakable core. Literally unshakable. Hello? Big cocks? Big cocks. Cool. Glad none of the other big bag cocks heard that. Spoke too soon, spoke too soon, spoke too soon. Dude, I'm not getting meme death by big black cocks. Definitely not. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not gonna fucking happen, man. Swallow this, bitch. Not gonna happen. This has literally gotta be like the single best enemy from Softus ever designed. Just a big black death rooster. Gotta love it. I can't wait to see Elden Ring enemies. Elden Ring enemies better be like fucking crazy good. Like they better do a whole bunch of wacky crazy shit. There's no fucking way they can see me. I can't like distract him either. Maybe I can like death blow one from the roof. Nice. Not save, dude. Come on, man. Fucking ridiculous. Whatever. Wait, that's right. You don't get another idol between here and the Shinobi Hunter dickhead, do you? Oh, hello. We burning this temple next for? No, leave it. Go on to the next one. But if there's any offering. They're just like blatantly committing acts of arson, like in public. He's like, should we burn this next one, boss? And he's like, nah, leave that one. Okay. Yeah, see, I told you. Yeah, see, exactly. He knows. Ah! <laughs> Them fucking sidesteps, boy. Oh, shit. Get that weak shit out of your pussy. Fucking wimp. That was Monka Shake, a little bit. Oh, I see. The graves are just to fucking show you where shit is, I guess. Shinobi Axe of the Monkey. A heavy black iron axe used by... Bruh. A heavy black iron axe used by shinobi can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. This boorish axe is used for less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight. Once the favored weapon of a shinobi known as the bounding monkey of the sunken valley, it was lost along with his left arm. Why is everybody losing arms around here? Like, what the fuck? Is that just common occurrence? Oh, hey, what's up, bro? I didn't see you there. Kind of just like breaking into people's houses and stealing shit and assaulting people. It's cool though. It's fine. We're shinobi. It's what we do. It's okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's not concerning. Hello. Oh yeah, I didn't really explore this area over here, did I? Wait. Oh hey, what's up, bro? Those worthless bastards. Hello. <laughs> Isn't this the Shinobi. dude that you fight the big fat dude with the sword with? They can take the Shinobi axe from, from the temple and split their skulls wide open. Yeah, it said it was more for breaking shit rather than cutting shit, so. Okay, alright. He's he's just he's down. He's down for the count. Hey! Open up! Open up or else! Does this dude have like literally zero perif? How can you not see me? Are you serious? I bet if I stab him in the back, though, that guy's gonna turn around and be like, Jeff?
Yeah, I told you. I hate that shit so much. What the fuck? Nice fucking... Can I move, please? Oh my god, I'm getting really tired of their fucking random ass hyper armor. That is so nonsense. Like, I'm obviously hitting him first, but he just gets to carry on doing whatever the fuck he's doing. Maybe it's because he has, like, plate armor on, I guess. Hey, good sir. Are you a looter too? Looter? You look like a pirate, bro. Are you sure? Sir, you look like a he looks like a whole ass Pirates of the Caribbean character. Are you looking for something? Well, Except for the fact that he's not wearing any pants. If he had fashionable pants, he'd definitely be in there. Guarantee it. Keep your eyes peeled out there, huh? And, uh, you know, don't let the door hit you. Oh, by the way, while I was on my way here... I like how we went all quiet there. He was trying not to say ass. It's like... fine pagoda. You were gonna say ass, weren't you? He's like, no, Baka. I wasn't gonna say ass. That's what I think, at least. That's that. That's what you think. I was actually gonna say, uh, face. Don't let the door hit you in the face. 